Hey people, so I'm going to show you a review of my Christian Louboutin Junior Spikes Orlato? Orlato Flats. That's what they're called. I will put a screenshot of the actual um, the listing on Christian Louboutin the site. But what you get in the box is essentially this crap. So, because um, I bought mine in store in Selfridges, which is like the UK version of like design trainers. Um, this is the little pouch you get with a receipt in it, which is quite cool. So you get that, and then, let me snooze the trainers on the other side. You get a little pouch here, which is quite nice. Um, I haven't actually opened this, to be fair. Let me see what's inside this one. Oh, laces. So, you get spare laces, laces inside this one. They're just basically black. And I think I know why, because the lace is absolutely shit. So. If I show you the laces and my Christian loop arms, you can see what's happened to them. They've gone fat. So look at that. How bad is that? Anyway, that's probably why they give you spare laces. What else do you get? You get, you get a little, a tiny bag. So as well as having the lace bag, you get a little one. And inside the little one here are um, replacement studs. So, you know, the, let me see if you can focus on that. You can, but basically, the little studs for the top of the toe cap. You get, I think you get around five. So let me just double check and count. See what you get. You get three. Yeah, so you get five. And I was told that these are quite expensive. They're like five pound each. So um, at least you get them. So that, that, that. And then you get two dust bags, which is nice. I don't think I'll ever use them because they're too nice. So they're like a nice cottony woolly material. Um, and obviously if you got them dirty, they'd get ruined fast. So I don't think I'll ever wear them or use them. Um, and then the box is literally just paper. So obviously you get the normal insoles, paper shit. And that is literally it. There's nothing else in the box. It's not as not as unique as the Valentino where you get loads of other cloth and stuff. So anyway, so that's the box itself. It's still the basic box that I've seen years ago. So to me, the box looks quite cheap and basic. It's like this cardboard or paper, cheap paper, recycled paper type. And there's nothing special about it. The logo itself is embossed. Like you can feel the, the ridges, which is cool. The bag itself is the exact same material. So the exact same GP type um, inside of the bag red which is cool so that's the bag and the box the shoes itself okay let's have a look so there you go so i've put a holder in mind so you can sort of see but um i've had these for a few months now so they are worn hence why it looks worn from here you can sort of see the creases but um i'm going to give you my real life review of these and what i think of them um so we try and focus we get the shot anyway uh, they are actually in very good nick, surprisingly. So you can see where I wore them and where I've sort of um, stepped the most, which is on this side. So here's the two side by side. Uh, now what I have noticed about them, uh, actually, let me show you why I bought them first. The only reason I bought them is because they have this nice effect. It's like in, it's like a carbon, carbon, um, what's that material? Carbon fiber effect. So we had that carbon fiber effect and this bit here is all suede. So let me try and focus on the camera. So this bit's all suede, like black soft suede. And then you've got the carbon fiber type material. It's not actual carbon fiber, but you know, it looks like it. Then on the back, it's just the leather with some weird designs. Um, but the, the whole shoe itself is quite classy. And I only bought it because it's black and I needed some nice black trainers. Um, but the spikes on the front is what makes the shoe look good. Like, they literally look amazing. In photos, even when you walk everywhere, people like, the, like their eyes and attention go straight to the shoes, which is what I found quite strange and bizarre is that whenever you'd walk on the streets, um, people would look at them first before you. Um, or you could just see their eyes gazing now, which is quite fun. You know, sometimes you walk down the street and like, Quite, quite interesting to see. But anyway, the only issues I have about this trainers is sometimes um, you will actually, actually nick the um, 
Test bikes, so I don't know if you can see. Let me see if that works. Let me try and focus. Oh, there you go. So, you can see a better view of the spikes. Uh, now, they are like a metal type material. I don't think they're metal, but I think they're some sort of plastic. But if you look at this one here, where my, na where my nail is, you can sort of see where I've, um, I've scratched it. And to be honest, this sort of happens on a day to day basis. Like sometimes you don't even realise that you have to be careful and you can't touch that. So sometimes, let's say, if you've got a scooter or you've got a bike, um, obviously you wouldn't, wouldn't be wearing these on a the bike, but an, an electric scooter and you want to pop the scooter up, you, you've got to bear in mind that you can't use your toe no more. Whereas with other trainers like you know these, you could hit the bottom, it's fine, you wipe it off. But with these, if you do that, you'll probably break the. Um, the, the, the spike so you got to be careful of that in terms of the bottom this is what they look like so the exact same with all the um, Christian Louboutin trainers the red bottoms the red soles I have found that they do tend to get dirty quite fast and the colour does fade so when I bought them they were bright red and now they're like darkish red if you know what I mean obviously it's going to happen day to day it's dirt but it's one of them things that you need, you need, to, point, you need to point out let me show you, oh my light's gone off, um, I've got some lights in the office, so anyway, uh, let me show you the inside, so that's the inside of the shoe, so it's the, it's the same creamy uh, leather inside, I am wearing a size 40 and I'm a UK 7, so my shoe holds fell out, so anyway there's a few things I need to point out, when I went to go buy these, um, I'm a UK seven, and I I, took, I asked the lady to give me a U forty, which is this is a forty and a thirty nine. Now the issue is both of them fit me perfectly fine, so I was stuck in the middle of buying one size bigger or one size smaller, but they both fit me per perfectly. I chose to go for the one that was slightly bigger only because when I wear thick socks, at least they'll fit. Um, so I bought UK. Uh, I bought um, size 40 for UK 7. I don't know if you're even even able to see that, but yeah, there you go. 40. So I bought a 40 for UK 7. So what I would recommend is um, going in store and trying it on because uh, you know the, the shoe fitting so weird. This this is why I've never bought a pair of Louis Vuittons because. I could never want to spend, I would never want to spend the money and they don't fit, so I went in store to try them on. Um, what I have found is, they're not the most comfiest, but you could wear them with skinny socks and you can wear them with, with fat socks, like thick socks, but if you're wearing them with thick socks, bear in mind, make sure the socks are designed well, because if the socks have like the, the edges on like the tops, they'll dig into your toes here, because all the material needs to come together. But um, overall, they are a very good pair of trainers. They look nice, they feel nice. Um, walking wise, I could actually walk a long distance in these. I can, uh, but I wouldn't want to because the more you wear them, the more you wear them out. Um, so I haven't done any major walking. I have um, wore these on a night out, which is fun. Um, no drinks built on them though, but I have worn them on a night out. Um, what can I say? They were good. Uh, they were amazing, they were comfy, they did last a whole night, they looked good. Um, but to, to overall, would I buy them again? I personally would buy them again in a different colour. Um, if I was spending the same amount of money, I'd probably buy a colour that's more brighter. Because um, obviously, bear in mind, these are black. Um, they're very dull. Um, so if I was spending the same amount of money, I'd buy trainers that are probably a whiter. Um, Overall, if you've got the money for them, I would recommend buying them. Uh, they do look good. They are amazing for events, business. That's why I bought it. I, I, I really bought mine for business, networking, you know, going to meetings with clients, that sort of thing. They look good and they look dapper. Um, with these ones, they don't raise too much attention because they're black and the profile is quite low. They're not high tops, they're low tops, so they look quite, quite nice. Um, I'll, I'll try and add a few photos of what I wore them under. Um, I would show you now, but I'm wearing tracky bottoms, so they wouldn't really look the best. But they do look good on your feet. Um, if you check out my Instagram, you can sort of see where I wore them and 
the, yeah, the outfits, but these are really, really nice. I normally wear them on the jeans, or if I'm having a lazy day, I'll stick it under a pair of joggers or khaki bottoms, and they look cool. So, yeah, these are my uh, Christian Vuitton spiky trainers. Um, yeah, I do have a few more videos coming on, a few more reviews um, that I will be posting. So, if you're interested in designing trainers, I'm doing a few more Valentinos and Gucci. So, be sure to give me a follow and I'll get them all posted. Thanks for watching.